Hi guys, welcome back to the Financial Interest YouTube channel. My name's Dan. So in this video, I'm going to cover Facebook's Q1 2021 earnings. They just released them a couple of days ago, so I just wanted to go over the highlights here. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please give us a like and also consider subscribing to the channel as well. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so here we are like looking at the press release from the Facebook investor relations site. And here we can see the first thing I'm going to look at here is the total revenue. So we can see that the total revenue here has grown 48% year over year. So that's a really, really good um, increase that Facebook's seen there. And you can see here also the breakdown of the, the amount they've made from advertising um, versus what's called other here. So you can see that the vast majority of money here is made from advertising. But if we look at the other, that's kind of increased from um, 297 to 732. And you can see that that's an increase of 146%. So it's kind of, although the vast majority of money is made from advertising, the gap is, is shrinking slightly. So we can see here that the total cost and expenses has actually only increased uh, 25%. So if you compare that to the 48% that the, the revenues increased, then this um, obviously means that our operating margin is increasing. And this is where we can see that here. Operating margin has gone from 33% to 43%. And we go down here, we can see that the actually the net income has almost doubled since last year. So it's gone up by 94%. So the net income has gone from 4.9 to basically 9.5 almost. And we can see the same is uh, shown in the uh, diluted earnings per share. So that's increased from 1.71 to uh, $3.30 per share. And actually, Facebook also spent $4.1 billion on uh, share repurchases in the first quarter as well. And I also just want to jump down to here where we can see the, the Facebook actually gives uh, the free cash flow as well. So the free cash flow here has increased from 7.34 to 7.82. And that's actually an increase of 6.5% year over year in the free cash flow. And now we'll just take a look at the first quarter operational and other financial highlights as well. So we can see that Facebook's daily active users has gone from 1.88 billion on average for March 2021, which is an increase of 8%. And then also increases in the Facebook monthly active users which is 2.85 billion. So this is a huge amount actually of the world population, which is an increase of 10% year over year. And then they've got other metrics such as the family daily active people, then going on to family monthly active people, which have both seen increases of 15%. And they also mention here the capital expenditures for the first quarter of 2021, which is 4.42 billion and go on to say about the cash and cash equivalents and marketable securities, uh, which is 64.22 billion. And also uh, Facebook has been increasing their headcount as well. So they've grown that by 26% year over year. So now let's go and look at the service highlights, which uh, Mark Zuckerberg mentioned during the earnings call. So he's obviously seen a huge potential in the augmented and virtual reality. Um, both unlocking value in terms of people's lives and actually the um, economy as well. And Facebook Marketplace is seeing 1 billion people visit each month. WhatsApp Payments is live in India and they also have approval to launch this in Brazil as well. So this is another area that Facebook is focusing its, um, its efforts towards in the payment space. And also their acquisition of customers cur currently going through regulatory approval. And customer is actually a customer relationship management um, software, which is which Facebook has uh, recently purchased to try and improve its customer relations experience on the platform. And the mission over the next few years is to build out a full full featured commerce platform across all services. So Facebook has already um, got strong offerings in ads, community tools and messaging, but its focus is to ramp up in areas such as shops, business messaging and payments. And it's also building out live audio rooms, which is actually um, its own answer to Clubhouse. So this allows people to listen and participate in live conversations. 
And also Facebook is partnering with Spotify to launch a music player on the Facebook app. So now let's look at the overall outlook, which has come from um, the earnings call. So Facebook has seen strong growth in advertising revenue in Q1 of 2021. The average price per ad has increased by 30% year over year. And the number of ads delivered has increased by 12% year over year. Uh, Q2 revenue growth is expected to remain uh, stable or slightly increase, whereas Q3 and Q4 revenue growth is expected to significantly decelerate as the corresponding quarters in 2020 had experienced strong growth. And they're also expecting increased ad targeting headwinds from regulatory and platform changes. Now, the most notable one of this is from the iOS 14.5 update from Apple. And they're expecting to feel the impact for this from the second quarter of 2021. So Sheryl Sandberg, the COO, mentioned that they're working with the customers to implement Apple's um, API, which is their application programming interface, uh, along with their own aggregated events uh, measurement API. And the idea of this is to try and mitigate the impact of the iOS 14.5 changes. And what they're trying to do is obviously rebuild elements of their ad targeting so that it continues to perform when they have access to less data in the future. So that's how how Facebook is trying to get around this change. And there is continuing uncertainty around the viability of transatlantic data transfers in light of recent European regulatory developments. So Facebook is carefully monitoring the impact on its European operations. And it looks like actually the earnings news was well received by, by investors because the stock price has risen like 7.3% um, on the news of that and it's actually hit a record high. So we can see from the earnings report that, that Facebook is showing really kind of strong growth in a lot of different areas. And it's also interesting to see that they've, they're like looking to obviously diversify their kind of revenue streams away from the advertising a little bit, which is kind of making up 98% of their total revenue at the moment. So it's going to be interesting over the next few quarters and, and also the next few years to see to see how that goes, because obviously they're moving into um, payments and looking to monetize content creators and things like that. So that's going to be an interesting point to look on um, going into the future. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments uh, regarding the video or anything with the uh, Facebook's first uh, quarter earnings call. And I'll leave the links to all the resources I use, which is like Facebook Investor Relations website, also earnings cast for the earnings um, call and uh, Seeking Alpha as well for the transcription and the articles. These are the kind of the main um, the main websites I use when I'm looking looking into earnings calls and things like that. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.